so you have to activate uh, first this one service name degree have install and it will be available after one day 24 hours only okay let me tell you what is flow to automate the process like we have a workflow right similarly we have a flow and it is quite easier as compared to a workflow alternative way to save from coding world I will tell you suppose here I will show you see from the application navigator if you type flow designer okay and once you click this menu and open it You will see the list of out of the box flows used for particular purpose. As same, I have created this case flow demo. Okay. For the first time when you are creating, okay, if you click here uh flow then we have to specify the flow name description okay and if you want to add this read only then you can add run as initiator like user who initiate session means user who logged in or the system user okay then when you click submit So let me create flow demo. Okay. And initiator, let's leave it. Ten minutes. Ten More flow designer. Okay, no, this one.
all the components are heavier so that's why it is taking time to load Close this. Let's open again. Switch on your camera, everyone. Okay, see. And you all know, right, business rule? Hello? Yes, sir. See, so here like that we can add the trigger like when this flow will be trigger so here like record created updated created or updated okay like that so a same I have this case flow demo. Like if I select here created, then I have to select the table. So I just prefer to start with this integration REST API only, okay? Because all these are easy. You can go and check yourself. So record create it. Uh, let's delete this trigger and add new trigger. That is just API asynchronous and this will be available only after. We have got this uh, plugins, as I said. Service no. Integration, OK, this one you have to activate from here. And it will uh, took 24 hours. And before that, if you want, you can create your own scope. So 
so here i'm going to select the post okay and instead of flow designing demo rename at flow incident api like that okay See, requires authentication means you can access this API through JWT or 2.0 or basic authentication. And if you want to allow external access, then you can check here. And if you want to add roles for the particular user who has this role can access this API, you can select from here. And the body here, we can say that is incoming right here i have a specified post so let's suppose category i'm saying i'm taking incident always to to make easy for you to understand we can uh, check with other uh, tables also so let's leave it categories sort description okay and color just leave it and if you are adding here so leave it leave it so this is the incoming body object where we will receive category and sub description to create the incident record. And the difference here path parameters and query parameters is that while specifying URL, let me tell you. Okay, this is your URL address and to specify path parameters okay you just have to separate by this slash forward or backward slash and it should be like user underscore id and user underscore email like that and here this user id this user email okay path parameters or path parameters but in terms of query parameter it will be like url address c mark okay then we have key name like id equal to abc ampersand and here you can see while specifying a query parameter we separated with this ampersand and before starting we use this question mark got it hello yes, so you should able to this this is query parameter you should able to tell that this is query parameters and this is path parameters, right? So for this, we don't need, okay. We don't need path parameter, query parameters and the headers, see, it will automatically created for us. So we'll just turn
okay so we have defined the scripted rest api like that is alternative way so why do you want to next uh, do you want to do the next so here we can specify with this actions trigger point we have defined already so from here we can use this flow logic where you can uh, add a condition so for now let's see whatever the data we will receive from the rest api we just uh, want to create the record using that uh, body object so for that to select this service now core and to select this create record okay and here i have incident and head fields so we have category this not saying So category we can access uh, from this pillar data pillar picker. Let's click this and from here trigger REST API asynchronous. We have to select the request body, okay? Because we are not receiving from path parameter, query parameters, or headers. So category and next. What you can do, you can drag and drop from here. Like we have this request body, right? And the sort description we can drag from here. That's it. And check it. Category sort descriptions. Okay. So after that, if you want to send the email, like send email, okay. So target record select from here. Is create a record incident record okay based on that this table will be automatically populate so to whom you want to send the mail uh, As of now, we don't have assigned to caller here. Yeah. And the caller, I would like to select uh, using this script. All we have to do here is that return or I can select myself also gs dot get user like that. And you all know that color is a reference field before to user table. So let's open. David Miller.
copy this is id and paste here done okay so send me email to created record incident record and caller okay and the subject can say that Intent is created for you. Here we can the number. Say done. Everyone got it right? It is easy. Yes, sir. Save it. Let's activate it. So once you saved, to test this API, you can find here in REST Explorer. So REST Explorer. Here you can see one namespace has been created for this EPA. This is the incident integrator, but have this flow incident API. I think this is different. So you can see right flow incident API. Let's check it. Add a field. Yeah, category. Another field. designer so here you can see status code let's check the incident You see, right? This one, flow designer testing, David Miller. So 
So next I have to check here the email which we have configured. So related list. Or email emails. We hear you see right incident is created for you. The same. To be same. One minute ago. OK, yeah, yeah. Preview email. Got it, everyone? Yes, sir. OK, then others uh, you learn by yourself. It is easy. OK, everyone. Yes, sir. 